Come, I have good. Say, uh, who goes there? I have a weapon. Just me. Ah, the little finch returns to the nest. Empty handed? <laughs> it is here. This can help you get your wares out from the harbor. Ha! Huh. I never doubted you for a second. Come, let us enjoy a cup for the memories. I will even make your favorite. What did you find there? Who was behind it? A man by the name of Javid. He was working for someone, looking for an artifact. An exotic hairpin. It is important somehow. I need to find out why. I must. You have changed, little Finch. Or should I just say, Finch? When we last met, you were a street thief. Now, I hope you know what you are searching for. Sometimes, it is best to leave the thorn in, lest you bleed dry. Now, for what was promised to me? An invitation to the auction. It is only given to esteemed guests. Do not ask me where I got it from, unless you want lies. With that scroll, you can get in without having to fit yourself in one of my boxes. <laughs> that was your plan. Men have endured worse to reach their goals. Someone influential is looking for the hairpin, but let it slip. Now the only chance they have is at the Grand Auction. Hmm. Now to look into the other lead. She's done for. She should have paid them off the first time they threatened her. Do you blame her? I find myself only scraping by with this new tax on our stalls. Business is not easy. Broken. Completely destroyed. Those guards, they know no mercy. This is nothing. Do you know what they are doing to the perfume merchant? This is taking too long. I have somewhere to be. And this is hardly worth the coin they pay me. Cut off a finger. Maybe that will loosen her coin purse. Oh, 
What did you do to incur such aggression from the guards? I did nothing. I... I'm only short of coin. Business is business, but I do not have the means to pay their tax. Are your wares moving slow? No, but in recent times, they have increased the coin requested. Therein lies the trouble. Not just for you, but for others as well. Mostly for people like us who are not from here, or not of the same faith. We find it's hard to feel safe in Kah. I have a shipment that's late. I fear my goods and camels might have been seized by the guards. They should have arrived with some merchants bound for the Dairat Amal. If I could ask a favor, my friend, please look for them. Very well. They should be along the road that leads to the south gate of Baghdad. Ah, I might catch them at the watering hole along the southern road. Thank you, Saidi. The road beyond the south of Baghdad. I should see if I can find those stranded merchants. Merchants should be down this road. Perhaps. That camp must be where the merchants are. The merchants should be down this road. Perhaps near a ridge for shelter. Assalamu alaikum. I was sent by a friend of yours who was worried for your safety. As you can tell from the horse's head, she was right to be. We do not know what to make of this. Let me help. Perhaps I can find out what happened. We would be grateful. The culprit must have left a clue. Footprints. And a blood trail. The horse's head was carried to the center of the camp. My horse, my sweet legume. Malaka, who would do such a terrible deed? The head do not is cast your eyes on me. I did no such Must evil. Have been a sharp blade. Mm. 
Was this your horse? He is claimed by Hades now. Not only do I have to worry about Baghdad's ridiculous thirst for coin, now I must be concerned about my livestock! Malaka! <sighs> Rest in peace, Legum. What happened here? It happened in the dark of night. I could not see well, but I saw someone. I think. I cannot be sure. I think I know what happened. This is a work of intimidation. Someone is trying to prevent your arrival. La uh, who? Who would do such a thing? I have no enemies, no bad blood. There could be worse fates if you continue down the road. Let me escort your crew to the gates. You would do that for us? Shukran, God bless you. Quickly, get us away from here. Let us move. The city is not too far. Come. We should leave this place, quickly. Should have stayed home. Hm. Where is home? I come from a place called Greece. West from here, across the water. With my horse Legum, we carry goods to and from Baghdad. All oh, the cities we visited. Our goods, Basra, and even Samara. Your merchant friend tells me that these goods are bound for the Da'irat al-Mal. Nay, the great auction is a big event, and that meant bigger demand. So you are attending, then? Attending? <laughs> I only wish I had the coin to spend. No, we are just providing stock for the preparations. Sent you. You cannot run or hide. To enter my side, you have to pay the price. <laughs> report to someone called al Hanka. This confirms my suspicions. Stay close! Good heavens! Could they have been sent to kill us? Likely. This is not surprising. We've been vocal against the Khilafa and unfair taxes can cost us our heads, but the silent sheep is an ally to corruption. They do not like this opposition. I would not be surprised if they made an example out of us to others who might try the same. Baghdad, you are safer now. You are wonderful. Thank you. Here we are. A thousand thanks, Ya Sayyidi. Baghdad is not safe. Rumors swirl through the markets of merchants dragged from their stalls. Have you heard of such injustice? Who would do this? Rumors say they target the Dimiyun, traders who are not from here. The Abbasids want a stake in all businesses. As long as there is coin, lives are secondary. The note dropped by the guards was from someone called al Anka. This person is the one behind the attack. Hmm. 
I overheard the guards refer to the tax collector as Al Anqa, which was odd. Because is the Anqa not female? Tell me his name and where I can find him. So Hayel lives in a mansion west of Karkh. Be careful, friend. I doubt he works alone. Thank you, friend. Wafaqaq Allah. Save your strength, my friend. I will need to call upon you soon. The tax collector is due a visit. Enkidu. Kidu has a clear path. Let us get a wider view. Hey. <laughs> 
Your hour has come. Go in peace. Where are they? Oh, they should be back with the coin. Oh, oh, my Orders to increase, increase taxes. How hard more coin going trickling going into their hands. There might be more information I can find China. around here. China? <clears throat> no partiality. Not even to their... <laughs> The taxes have been paid. The tax collector does not work alone. Someone not from Baghdad controls the strings. There is a scent on the letter. Perfume. Rose with iron. Mm. Blockade at the harbor is funded by the coin of the people. I am done here. Nothing else. Roshan and Rebecca will be waiting back at the bureau.
We're boxed in. Great ambush in the hills west of my friend. Our prodigal hidden one returns. Finally. You found the path back. What do you have for us? The one we are looking for is a Dimyun. Someone out of Baghdad. You are certain? I found proof. They were working with the tax collector and the harbor master. One used the guards to harass and extort coin from the Dimyun. The other seized goods at the docks. Extortion, I understand. But seizing goods? More objects from these ancient beings they worship? They are looking for a rare hairpin imported from the East Road. It will be up for auction at the Da'irat al-Mal. An official invitation into the auction. Now, we have a way in. Well done. Our target has to be someone connected to both Al-Anga and Al-Kululu. Someone working closely with the officials. Informers heard whispers of the Khalifa's treasurer. In recent times, they have been quite involved in the businesses of Kah. Someone like that will no doubt make an appearance at the Da'irat al-Mal. We should prepare, so I will scout ahead. Meet me near the soup when you're ready. Not a lot is known about this person. Underestimating your opponent is a fool's folly. Worried? I will tread carefully. The plan is simple. Enter the auction as a merchant wishing to bid on exotic artifacts. We know they want the hairpin. And we know they will be at the auction. They already let it slip through their fingers once. When the hairpin appears, I will watch the crowd and make sure to obtain it. That will secure a meeting with this treasurer. I am fully confident they will bid on it. Whatever the cost. Yes. I will gather as much information as I can about this treasurer before the auction starts. For someone in their position, there will be no lack of whispers. The first feather without a head. It is your duty to find the right one. Do not let yourself get distracted. Focus on the mission at hand. It does no one good to linger on things that do not exist. This is real. I understand. Silence is better for the wives. And how much more so for fools. Haban Muvattaban. Do 
you think we need luck? There is a rot in Karch, Treasurer. Property stolen. Merchants extorted. Foreigners tormented. Corruption is rank and everywhere. But you are at its heart. Even now, your poison spreads along the East Road to lands untouched by the Order's venom. I hear you hunger for a hairpin. One up for auction at the Da'irat al mar I will play the rival for your heart's desire. ...and draw you from the shadows. I need your eyes, my friend. Good to see you. Welcome. Allow me to browse your stock. Please, take a look. Will that be all? I will be off then. Safe travels. Should have known you would be here, Kong. Ha! <laughs> you know me. Come, let us chat. I do. Do you have any information about the treasurer? Someone who works for the Khilafa? The treasurer? Hmm. I do have something, but. You know, it hurts to give precious information for free. What job do you need doing now? Ha! <laughs> Already know what is on my mind, eh? You see, little Finch. The Da'irat al-Mal is not only an important event for the upper class of Kach, but also for thieves. Did someone take something of yours again? A precious ceramic saucer. Luca has it. He has always been jealous of me. Ah, where do you think it is? I knew I could rely on you, little Finch. You should be able to find it in the crates near his stall. Be right back. I assume you heard about the commotion a few stores down. This must be the stall Kong mentioned. Now to find that plate.
trust Kong to own a plate like this. Now maybe he will tell me what he knows about the treasurer. Hmm. Suspicious activity on the rooftops. Here, Little Finch delivers once again. Just the very thing I need to complete my set. I thought this was yours. It is now. Anyway, listen close. I was having my usual afternoon tea when I overheard two ladies speaking about an order they fulfilled for the Dayadat Al Mal. They made a beautiful rope for the treasure with intricate Eastern embroidery. Open your eyes to that. Eastern wear. Thank you, Kong. The treasurer is likely a foreigner from the East. Come upstairs and look at my words, ya sadiqi. Things you've never seen before in Baghdad. Exotic Chinese artifacts. Here only. Nowhere else. Don't be shy. Come closer and be amazed at my selection upstairs. Assalamu alaikum. You mentioned Chinese artifacts. Yes, friend. Welcome, welcome. You will surely find something of interest here. Longing for the exquisite, ya sadiqi? I have ornaments that hail from the Far East on auction. Rare vases, delicate teacups. But the hairpin is my prize. One of a kind, a beauty even the treasurer asked about. Wait, the hairpin? Where is it? It's going to be up for auction. If you wish to purchase it, Make sure to bring a good bag of coin. A hairpin from the east. This must be the item El Kululu was after for the treasurer. I must look out for it at the auction. Tardiness is not something... Not something we can rush, yes, Seydati. The treasurer will not be happy. Neither will I. I know that. The perfume creation is complex. We are already doing our best. Your best is not enough. Come. We talk elsewhere. There are ears in the walls. That woman mentioned the treasurer. I should keep my ears close. The treasurer is fond of the Kinar, as you know. No one is more unhappy when three dozen bosses go. With the Harbo withholding our supplies, production has been slow, Yasaridati. Certain incidents there have also made our situation difficult. You are not telling me exactly what it is we are missing. The, uh, blood, my lady. The blood is essential in the scent. It is what makes the Kina perfume special. We must have it. I will talk to the Halifa. See what we can do. The treasurer will have to wait for her supply. 
This perfume on the tax collector's letters. I thought it smelt like iron. Was it blood? This woman could be from the Khalifa's inner circle. She knows the treasurer. I must speak to her. Assalamu alaikum, ya Sayyidati. Wa alaikum assalam. I could not help but overhear, Sayyidati, about the perfume. It is not courteous to eavesdrop. Seeing as you are an admirer, you are pardoned. My name is Kabiha, the woman behind the kina. It has a unique scent. Rose, honey, sandalwood. And if you heard, a sliver of blood. Blood? I should have guessed. I had thought it might be iron. Blood is born from iron, is it not? But because of that detail, it proves difficult to bring in large quantities. If it is so exclusive, it must be popular amongst officials. I think I caught a scent of it near the treasurer. Ning uses the kina. She is quite taken with its rich mystique, as are many. Curious. You do not look like one who is interested in the art of perfumery. It is unwise to judge someone by how they look. Indeed. Did I not catch your name? Basim. Basim. I must not waste any more of your time. I wish you a wonderful time at the Da'irat al-Mal, ya Sayyidati. So, the treasurer is a she, and her name is Ning. The auction should be starting soon. <laughs> Marhaban, Assalamu alaikum, Yasas, Nihao, hello. It is the time of year again to fulfill your deepest yearning, to listen to your heart's desire, and purchase what God has shown us. It brings me great joy to welcome all of you esteemed individuals to our annual Dairat al-Mal. First on our exclusive, captivating list of exotic odds and ends, we have a stunning statue from India. Made of ivory and crafted by the finest artisans, it will be a perfect addition to any home. Oh, hmm. what do we have? One bidder already. No, two. Calling once, twice, a third. Would anyone like to best that price? No? So, this piece goes to the lovely lady. Next, we have a one-of-a-kind ethereal beauty. This hairpin hails from the east. And look at the detail on the dragon. Perfect as a collectible, and even better as a gift for a certain lady friend you might have. So, so what is this piece worth to you, Ya Azdekhai? One, for the treasurer who graced us with her presence. Ning, the treasurer. Two. Any others? Hmm. We have a third there. Oh, two owns it again. Number three, what will you do? How much do you want this, my friends? Reach into your hearts, listen to your desire. Hmm. No one? Then sold to the handsome bearded man. This hairpin belongs to you now, Sayyidi. Now, for the third item. A 
And we thank you once again for making the Dairatul Mal a success. May your purses be ever full and your heart ever longing. Did you see her? Her calmness, her grace. Like a long, shiny star against a dark night. If only I could speak to her. There's a chance. I hear only members of the merchant guild. <laughs> I have an appointment with the treasure. Apologies. My instructions were clear. No brooch, no entry. Do you know who I am? I need to speak to the treasurer. I was called. Summon. Assalamu alaikum. I'm here to see the treasurer. On what business? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry. Assalamualaikum. You again? What is it now? I have a gift for the treasurer, if she will see me. Only members of the ivory coin are allowed to enter. No brooch, no entry.
This is proof that I am of the Merchant's Guild. Look, see? With respect, that does not entitle you to three bags of saffron, two of vanilla, and a bottle of honey without a single coin. Impossible! Bah! This is a waste of my time. Hello! Spices for you? She told Moswin, sure. As on Estembaud, Michelle. Trouble with customers? No more than usual. These people from the Ivory Coin think themselves touched by God himself. The Ivory Coin? I... I should not speak about it. I do not know much, really. Whatever you know can help me. Well, it will not hurt to tell you what I know. The Ivory Coin is an exclusive merchant's guild. They have a brooch that grants access to certain places. How do you obtain this brooch? I hear only respected merchants are part of the Ivory Coin, and that you can only be invited by another member. They think their status gives them permission to take goods without coin. <laughs> Have you ever seen such vanity? This is expected in Karch. Thank you. No brooch, no entry. You know how this works. Yes, but I left my brooch in there. Do you not see the problem here? No brooch, no entry. La'anak Allah. An exclusive union for the merchants of high society. I should have expected this to exist. The Chamber of Antiquities is the treasurer's haven. I need to find a way in. Ivory coin's brooch. Shiny. I have both trinkets. The guard will have to let me in now. Assalamu alaikum. You again? What is it now? I have something that she wants. A Chinese hairpin from the auction. I also have my brooch with me here. Very well. You may enter. This way, Sayyidi. I have been looking forward to meeting the treasurer. It is an honor. Indeed, Sayyidi. She is busy, and her time only allows for a few rare appearances. I have never seen so many treasures in one place. 